Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're covering how to use the project command in PointWise. This command allows users to project connectors, domains, database curves and points onto visible or targeted database entities. The project command is selection sensitive, meaning that entities that users want to project need to be selected prior to the command becoming available. The project command can be found beneath the edit menu or by using the corresponding toolbar shortcut. I'll begin by first selecting a database curve and from the edit menu, choosing project. The project panel opens with a projection summary table at top, indicating the percent of the selected curve that is database constrained. At this point, I can simply click the button labeled Project to project it to the nearest visible database surface. Clicking OK saves this change and exits the panel. Next, I'll select the domain instead and open the project panel by simply clicking its corresponding toolbar shortcut. Again, the projection summary table at top shows that this domain isn't constrained to any database entity displaying both the number of points and the percent of the domain that is unconstrained. Sometimes, if there are multiple neighboring or adjacent database surfaces, then it may be helpful to select the specific database surfaces that you wish to project the selected entity onto by using the controls within the target database selection frame. Simply click Begin to add a database surface to your selection and click End when done. You can cancel your selection at any time by using the corresponding button. Four different projection methods are available from the type pull-down menu, closest point, linear, cylindrical, and spherical. With the closest point projection method, points are simply moved to the closest point on the database surface. Notice in this example, closest point doesn't provide the desired result. Linear, cylindrical, and spherical projection methods use ray casting along parallel rays orthogonally from a user-defined axis or orthogonally from a user-defined point, respectively. In each of these projection types, users have options available to define the ray cast direction depending on the method selected. By using the linear projection type and clicking on the project button once again, I get a better projection of the domain onto the database surface than before when I used the closest point projection type. Additionally, there are options to project points or the shape of a selected entity by using the available radio buttons to toggle between options. By default, the interior only option is enabled and projects only the interior points of a selected entity onto the interior of the target database surface. For example, if your domain's connectors are already database constrained, then you should keep this option enabled. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.